Welcome back everybody to my office here at Waypoint. My name is Diego Alarcón and this is another episode of Revitalize Your Vis. Uh, we are looking at the new capabilities that were announced at the Tableau conference. We already um, learned about the Vis within a Vis or tooltip with the visualization inside in the previous um, video. And now we're going to be looking at uh, TDE versus Hyper. So let's start with that right now. Thank you for being with me again. Let's get started. So Hyper versus TDE. Before we start talking about Hyper versus TDE, I think it's important to understand that the new version of the extract works with OLTP and OLAP and OBRP, Beyond Relational. Um, TDE used to work with the uh, only OLAP system. And now Hyper brings in these two other ways of how to store data. Let's start with uh, 616 megabytes for the creation of Hyper. You're gonna have here to your left a version of uh, Tableau 10.5. And you will have here to your left a version of the old TDE. We're going to start with the creation of Hyper. So it's the same extract. Uh, let's call it TDE. And since uh, this is an extract, and then we run it. And we can see that the process is really fast. And we're going to compare later with TDE. Let's see. Should be about 20 seconds. We're processing 616 megabytes, and it was close to 20 seconds. And let's see what will be the same, um, what will be the output with the same type of data source, 616 megabytes. I'm gonna call it extract. We have the previous hyper in there. It took only 20 seconds, a little bit more than 20 seconds to build. Let's see how long it will take to do it with the TDE. Remember this is 660 megabytes. We are using a very specific type of table with a lot of fields. This one has uh, approximately 40 different fields. So this will um, impact uh, definitely the time of creating a copy of this table uh, in a TDE in this case. We did it previously with Hyper. In this case it was 44, 45, 48, 50. So 50 seconds. As you can tell Hyper is a lot faster in the creation of um, this specific type of um, view. You can tell here that if we drag and drop measure names or measure values, it's really fast in the TDE. So TDE used to be very efficient. And if we do the same thing with um, Hyper, you will tell that it's also very efficient. Also one of the things that takes more time, like creating bins um, uh, in, in a TDE, it was improved in 9.0 and 10.0. But now you, we can tell that it's really fast and same thing for Hyper. One of the things that I noticed uh, with my test, uh, trying to create a stress in the, in the stress in the test, is um, that workbooks tend to open a lot faster in uh, Hyper than TDE. Thank you for staying with us and looking at this comparison between Hyper and TDE. The old technology from Tableau and how Tableau used to store data and the new technology uh, that Tableau um, it's um, applying the new version 10.5. You will be able to see this in December or maybe later January when you will be able to have the version 10.5 which will have this new technology uh, in Tableau. So you will make your dashboards more efficient, you will make your um, extracts faster and also you will be able to create calculations, um, more powerful calculations that will work faster with this new technology. So. Um, this was our tip for today and please subscribe don't forget about that so you can keep getting the, our updates 
and we will see you uh, next month or next week.